Continuity is an important thing to consider in the filmmaking process. How many articles have you seen complaining about poor continuity in films? When an editor makes a cut, everything is supposed to match from the previous shot. But when is it okay to break continuity? Does continuity always matter? Thelma Schoonmacher doesn't think so. Schoonmacher, Oscar-winning editor of Raging Bull, The Aviator, The Departed, and Martin Scorsese's editor of over 40 years does not care about continuity. If she doesn't, why should we? Before we dive in on breaking continuity, we should define it. Continuity is making sure the details in a scene are consistent between shots. When a shot changes, people and props shouldn't disappear or change. It's best displayed by the cut-on-action principle. Characters and props should be in the same positions before and after the cut. When you cut, match the action from the previous shot. By doing this, the motion happens without interruption. This style of editing feels invisible and doesn't call attention to itself. Schoonmaker and Scorsese disagree that this should be the way every editor should cut. Continuity is not the most important thing to consider. Here's a clip of Schoonmaker explaining her and Marty's style. Uh, whereas we like the audience sometimes to notice the editing, sometimes you don't in an intense dialogue scene. You want things to flow so that the audience isn't thinking about the cuts, but there are other times when you want them to think about the editing or be affected by it. There's a scene in Goodfellas, for example, where the, uh, uh, the marriage scene, and it's a Jewish wedding, and in the Jewish wedding they break a a glass under the, the the groom breaks a glass under under his foot as part of the symbolism of the of the wedding and we the way we cut that if you look at that sequence you'll see it's very jaggedly cut it's a very odd way we did it in order to uh, accentuate the violence of the breaking of the glass and it, it's 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 sort of jumped the cut is not a traditional cut it's jumped to make to increase the feeling of jaggedness if it was cut by a Hollywood editor, it probably everything would have matched, you know, everything would have come into the frame, exited one frame, come into another frame, whereas we forcibly made what was some people would consider an orthodox cut or a bad cut. Some people might consider it a bad cut, but we like that kind of thing. <laughs> Marty and I have always been, from the very early days, interested in slapping the audience in the face a little bit at times. Not always. There are times when you do want it to be invisible, really, but he always loved jump cuts and... Uh, we're sort of exponents of the opposite idea. For examples, let's look at The Wolf of Wall Street. If you're looking closely, this film is full of continuity errors. Heads are turned one way, then another in shots. These characters lead coked up, adrenaline-filled lives, and the choppiness adds to that effect. Actions don't match. I were in hands don't match. Heads move, but it all adds to the world that Jordan is living in. And while these cuts may be jarring, the performances are more important than continuity. Look at this scene in Goodfellas. Do you notice anything wrong? I got the two of them coming over the house every day, commiserating the two of them. I can't have it. I can't have it. You know, I just, I can't do it, Henry. Look at this shot. What's that over De Niro's shoulder? It's a scratch from the film negative. Other filmmakers might throw off that shot because of that mistake, but since it's the shot with the best performance from De Niro, it should go in the film. Who notices when the movie is running? Famously, the final shot in The Last Temptation of Christ has a big mistake. It's the crux of the film, the death of Jesus on the cross, and right after Defoe's final line, light seeped into the camera and ruined the film. This film error creates the most striking and iconic moment of the film. Accidents happen, and these moments of creative inspiration can make a film. Many of these mistakes fly by because Schoonmacher knows where the eye is looking. Take these shots on Goodfellas. Henry hits the shower with his right hand, his right hand, and then his left hand, but because of the change in angle, he's still hitting the same place on screen. If we mirror the shot so he's always hitting the wall with his right hand, it looks weird. The change in focal point from the top right of the screen to the left is jarring. This mistake is invisible because of tricks like these. Other cuts, like this one in Wolf of Wall Street, use a similar principle. In the first shot, we see McConaughey start to move the glass. In the second, his hand moves forward to point. The hand is in a similar place in each shot, and though the actions aren't the same, the motion of them is similar enough. It's a cut on action that doesn't use the same motion. When characters are staying still, audiences tend to look at the eyes of the character facing the screen. So in shot reverse shot scenes, you can get away with a lot by focusing on the other person. In this shot from The Departed, our eyes are on the kid playing a young Matt Damon. Because of that, we don't notice Jack Nicholson's vanishing cigarette in the cut. Or in this scene, on the cut, our eyes move from Leo's face to Nicholson's. We don't notice that Leo is now blowing smoke rings without ever having taken a pull from a cigarette. Here's Schoonmacher talking about a similar editing moment from Goodfellas. But there are a lot of people in Hollywood who really still feel that way. I remember once after uh, 
I was nominated for Goodfellas and Dances with Wolves won, I think, is, I think yeah, that year, right. right. And the editor of it came up to me afterwards and he said, we were all waiting, getting our coats and things, and he said to me, I want to ask you something. Why did you make that jump cut in, you know, that, that there was a mismatch. I think there was a cigar in Paul Servino's hand in one take, and the next time I got back to him, it wasn't there. And I said, well, we do that all the time. <laughs> and it was because it was an improvisation with an unskilled actor who was fantastic. And uh, it was more important to use the best delivery of both people. And I knew that he didn't have the cigar in the hand, but it was more, but we do that all the time. Continuity is one thing among many to consider in editing. Who walks out of a movie and compliments the continuity? Nobody I know. They talk about the performances, the music, etc. If people are noticing and complaining about continuity, there's bigger fish to fry. When editing is seen, consider the performance and where the eye is looking before worrying about continuity. Often, those mistakes whiz by without a notice. I know I'd go from rags to riches If you would only say you care And though my...